Okay, two apologies to make. Firstly, apologies for the um, quality dip in the last episode. That's because I messed up my um, recording on Fraps, so yeah, apologies there. Also, apologies for this marginally abrupt ending. Um, I didn't realise this until I got some stage editing, but thankfully I kept a backup save, so I can get back to at least this point. Uh, we killed the Vigilante Guard. Now, we head in here. This is your cover area. Stand out of sight by the far door. Just stand there. No, get your sword ready. You kill anything that comes through that door. Anything? Yes, if it's one of our own, then it's their own fault. Don't hesitate, just kill. Fine. My cover zone is the room down from this one. I'll be close by if trouble comes. Now keep that in mind. One more thing. Put out those lights and douse that fire. Darkness is our friend. That's odd. I mean, the clock just died. Father, you can't always be sending out one of your goons to follow me around. I'm not a little girl anymore. It's for your own good. You have to trust me, my daughter. That's the way you've always been, and I'm tired of it. You're a control freak, even when it comes to governing the city. You take half of what everyone makes in this town just because you think you know what's best for everyone. But you know what? You don't. You can't just let people decide for themselves how to spend their money. If you don't know what they want, how could you possibly understand the situation when you're so far removed from it all? Lance, you don't even understand your own daughter. And just like the thousands of people in this city, I'm tired of always putting... You're always putting your hand in my business. Dad, it's not that this city and I don't need you. It's just that you try too much. It does more harm when good when you take the power out of people's hands completely. When you take the power from me to live the life the way I want. Zedicus, could I see you for a minute? Medma, you're not supposed to be here. What's going on? Wait a minute. What's he doing here? Something has come up, that's all. I need to speak to you immediately. It's dreadfully important. You'll finish this later, Lexus. Don't take your eyes off her, Slade. Father. Don't say another word, young lady. Enough of your back talk for one evening. Surely you can see that he's becoming senile and old. Are you really going to obey orders from him? Yes. Don't you have an opinion of your own? I'm not here for social hour. I'm here to protect you. What could men have possibly been wanting my father? I wasn't informed about any such meeting. Maybe it's just government stuff. But he said it was dreadfully urgent. Medma, help! Help! We're being attacked! Straight into battle. Lexus, run! This can't be happening. Trigo, you betrayed me. Oh dear, that doesn't bode well. Is Slade went through, or is Slade dead? It's beginning to rain. Everything kind of seems feasible despite that thunder. So it just doesn't feel right, though. I don't have time for this right now. I've got to stay focused. If I mess up, they might not let me see Setsa.
one's coming. Nexus? No, 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 no! Rue? Is it you? I'm... I'm... bleeding. It hurts. Alexis, hold on. Don't die. Don't die. Rue. Sweet Rue. I had hoped it would be you. This... just... not so soon. Special and scum. This is all my fault. No, Rua. It was mine. I'm glad it happened like this. I want to see you once more. Just. Lexus? Lexus, no! Please, don't go. Please come back. Don't leave me. I'm not a fool. Burn me. Burn me. Fight fires. Burn me. What have I done? Why? The Shadowfoot is coming this way. You better get out of here. Rue, get up. Let's go, man. Hey, if you want to die in a fight, but you never get your little visit. No. Another girl to bury. Congratulations on a job. Well, cut the crap. I oh, just want my visit. I'll forgive your rudeness one last time due to the services you have rendered. Rest assured that everything has already been taken care of. Go to the tower, the Arm of Strana, and they will grant your visit. I have made arrangements so you can go any time you like. Stoiko, I have a job for you to do tonight. Sure, I want to get a face sensor right away. Maybe I should just walk around a while, even if it is raining. Well, there are a few things we can do here. Including one person. We. Please show your citizen big card. Have a nice day. I'm not sure there are going to be nice days from now on. Now, where were we going is the um, market up here. But there are a few places which, um, if we go to them, they show interesting things that there is off limits. It's up there, isn't it? But first off, there was a gathering up here. Uh, okay. It's nice to have a party in the inner city. Hey, and that guy took down Jim Hagen. Oh, this could be trouble. Thanks, that guy sucked. No problem. Yeah, it's Dirk up there. I like to party, but I like to try too. Hey, do you know what happened tonight? I have no idea. I don't even want to think about it. Anything else tonight? Rosma! 
I love him from two parties in the rain. For the leader had an order to leave you alone, we take you out right now, Whipface. Your order's not gonna mess with me? Must be one of those Aristotle benefits. This Rosmar guy would make a good blue scarf. I love this weapon. Really? We only get to gather up here in the inner city during a major crisis. The government force is too busy with other managed to drive us out of here. Wonder what's going on. Hey, sugar. Not in the mood. We didn't like a good plunge during a thunderstorm. No wonder. Let's hold the deck. Dirk, what are you doing out here in the rain? Just enjoying some illegal activities. <laughs> this Rosma guy has been beating everyone tonight. I think I can take him. Personally, get some revenge and allow us to work off some aggression. Subku, this Rosma guy, this Rosma boy is breaking the reel tonight. My cousin Minosha got his jam dragged hard by Bondi. Minosha? He was beat up. He's gonna challenge Rosma next. I'll probably get slammed. Let's talk to Rosma. Not you again. You're in a pissy mood as usual. You must have lost a Trazian. I have no problem losing a Trazian. He deserves to be in the semi final round, unlike you. Let's face it, the only reason you're in the semi finals is because of luck. You didn't even have to lift a finger. You can say whatever you want, but I'm not the pushover I was when we last fought. You know, I was hoping never to see you again, but I think I've changed my mind. I've never gotten the chance to put you back to scarring my face until now. So why did not grand, great grand tournament semi-finalist show everyone how it's done? Unless you're afraid, of course. Which would be understandable. You know you can't beat me. I'll beat you right now. Then watch your spot and we'll get this show started. First though, let's just make sure our blade arts are fully assigned. Uh, I think we can have dust spray, and that means we now have all things assigned. As for links, uh, nope, we want ladder there. Uh, let's see. Other than that, I think that works out quite nicely. So, let us begin. I'm about to prove to everyone here what a fluke you are. No idea what you're up against. Okay, first move. We're going to attempt to lower his plunge skill. Lana. Nope, we've got a dust spray. But because we're now going to have a um, link every single attack, we do have that as a bonus. Pretty good percent has gone down. 19. Injury 2. Oh. But he didn't have a couple of finishing points. Hopefully, though, the match won't last that long. Let's then go with a lunge cut. Which, oh, he's got a crit and a burning edge. This could hurt. 31, injury 3. Ah, lunge didn't go up either. Okay, this has now become a bit of a... Right, let's go with drop slash. Yes, have the advantage, dust spray. Wish we'd got something other than dust spray linked up, but we'll take what we can get now. Critical hit percent down, 24%. Injury free. And at the advantage again, but more finishing points. You're not quite as pathetic as before, but you still can't win. Flink a jagged edge. Fenshu, Fenshu. Twelve versus twenty-three injury three. I think we're gonna cripple him too much. Whereas where we got this now we're both in orange. Blink drop slash uh, new high versus Fenchu. Just cause an injury four would we'll be safe. Twelve. No threshold's gone up. 19 injury 2. He's got a lot of finishing points. Sorry about that. In any case, he's almost down. Yeah, we don't have enough points to link something, but we'll just go with a drop slash. He has the advantage. Crippler versus downpour. 
downpour gives him a few hit points back, but will it give him enough? My threshold down again, 13, injury 1, gaining 8 back. We have another pass. I'll leave you more than just a scar. Oh, this is gonna get... Alright, Link cool wit. Ah, it's against this again. I'm not sure his critical percent can go down much lower. 7 critical hit has gone down, 1%, 12, injury 1. 10 CGB, 30 aura points. We've now learned Burning Edge. Well, what do you have to say now, Razmar? Nothing? I thought so. You're gonna get your tail wet tomorrow. You already underestimated me once. You're stupid to do it again. No, I just fought you. I know what you're capable of. But you're facing Strata. He's twice as good as I am. You can't win. Don't know anything. I'm tired of your voice. You punk kid. You saw my show. I was just about to challenge Rosma before you stepped in. <laughs> well. We got some measure of revenge. And also, we now have a replacement for this. The Burning Edge. Oh, actually, no. We can replace uh, Dust Spray with that, actually. Change our link to Burning Edge. Right. There are still a few more things we can go and um, have a look around the city. And if we go up here. I think we're about just about showing how little I actually know of this city. We're in the park area now. And if we head over here. Across the bridge. And down here. And there's Shara, wife of the great Zedicus. up here. Lexus? No way. And there are three such apparitions around here, but there's no benefit for finding them, I don't think. So I guess we're just now on our way to the arm of the Strana. If I can remember how to get there. No, I am there. Oh, close enough. Oh, I have to get up, up there and then left. Yeah, okay. Okay, I get that. Yeah, I've gone just about the longest way around you can go to get there, I think, but I can get there. Save. Let us enter the arm of Strana. My name is Rue. I'm here to see Vance and Dancing Violet. Yes, we've been expecting you. Make your way to the top. A guard up there will show you in. I haven't regretted many things I've done. Actually, I'm not sure I've sincerely regretted anything I've done before now. That's finally changed.
I must be having a nightmare. What in the foul earth do you want? I just wanted to know something. Okay. I was wondering, where did you get that pendant that's around your neck? You came all the way up here to ask that? What, are you an idiot? No, you don't understand. I used to know a girl. Her name was Serena. She had a pendant exactly like the one you have. I've been looking for her for a very long time, but I haven't seen a single trace until now. So please, Setsa, tell me where you got it. She couldn't be Serena, could she? I exa remember exactly when and where I got it, but why should I tell you? I'm asking nicely. I'm about to be executed. Why would I care about someone else's problems? If you want to know about Serena, I can help you. But you've got to get me, got to help me first. How? Hmm, take a guess. You want me to save your life somehow? Wonderful. You aren't a total moron. How can I possibly manage that? Do you know how many guards are going to be around for your execution? And the general public is going to be all around the area. They'll work to shreds themselves if the guards don't get you. I'd suggest winning the grand tournament, but that's not very likely. You think so? Guess what? I'm in the semi-final round already. Two victories away from it all. I need to mention two victories by forfeit. What? You're kidding. No, I'm serious. He must have really improved since lead. That or this competition is a real joke. Either way, it doesn't matter. If you can win, you'll get a large sum of money, fame, popularity, and connections. I've heard the guards talking outside, and it's not too far-fetched to believe you could bribe enough people to get me out of here. Are you kidding? People would be outraged. No, they're smarter than that. Almost no one knows what I look like. They're probably just finding another woman prisoner and execute her in my place. The people wouldn't know the difference. But first, you have to win. I can do it. Wonderful. Remember, Serena is counting on you. So, victory is what is required. So we have to beat Strata, and then most likely we're going to have to beat Strasian. So, what? Oh, yeah. I really don't know my way around the city. Well, let's head back. I just want to get to bed. Fair enough, then we shall just go to bed. Head this way, and go in here. Stoico? Oh, I see what their mission is. You all know why we're here. Drago wants us to take care of a little pest for him tonight. This guy is dangerous. No screw-ups, got it? <laughs> What's that? No, it can't be. <laughs> and the Phantom Slasher strikes again. Today's the day. I've got to win my match. Well... It's a shame we didn't get that Linrock attached, because that would have been a big help. A Blind Rock as well, because that would have given us just enough damage- that would have given us additional damage threshold. Excuse me, sir. You didn't happen to hear any strange sounds last night, did you? I didn't hear much of anything except Deafening Thunder last night. Why? What's going on? Nothing much, thanks for your time. Nothing much? Yeah, right. I've got a match to win. That he does. You didn't look so good, Rue. I had a rough night. I made a terrible mistake yesterday. Well, don't make another one today. What do you mean? Rue, I'm gonna tell you the truth. You're in way over your head. Strata is gonna kill you. No, he's not. Rue. He's no laughing matter. Everything I've heard about his fighting abilities is true. If you go out there, you're just going to get humiliated and maybe even seriously hurt. You haven't fought since the qualifying round. Actually, I think he's been quite active in the fighting department. 
I've improved a lot. I think you're underestimating me. Rue, trust me. I know what you're capable of. You can't do this. You don't understand. I have to win the tournament. So you're gonna be Strata. And then you're gonna go on to beat me. I'm telling you, don't go out there. Forfeit for now and let me handle him. I told you, you don't understand. If I don't win, I lose Serena. What? I visited Setsa last night. She won't help me find Serena if I don't free her. I've got to win the tournament so you can have a chance of doing that. Don't trust her, Rue. She doesn't know a thing about Serena. She's desperate. Her time is nearly up. No, last night I got a really good look at that pendant. I'm sure it's the one. Okay, let's say it is. Think logically for a second, Rue. How would someone like Setsa get a hold of that pendant? Let's see. She's a murderous criminal who's robbed and killed countless wanderers. Think about it, Rue. She's just trying to use you. Don't play into her hand. I have to. It's all I have. He's gonna get thrashed. If only I didn't have this other problem to take care of. Whoa! Go away. I think this is just about a cameo of every character who is currently alive in the way. He's in the crowd somewhere. Gaius got a front row seat. Welcome to the semi-final round. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's rumble! Win. You got to win. End of episode 4, folks. So, next time then. Uh, where can I actually save this? Uh, save it as file 15. So next time, folks. Episode 5. Until then.